Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in Philippines. Well, it's Sunday rest day. Well, up until this afternoon when we go out goat herding. So I just want to show you my other tool. So this one here, okay, so Western, this is the meat tenderizer. And you can also buy the blades, which is separate again, is for the jerky. So you can make your beef jerky or your pork jerky or whatever you want. And what this does, this cuts it all into strips for you. So when I used to make up the jerky before, I just change the blades over, put this in, roll it round, and out it comes fully stripped. So what I'm doing now is, this is your pork fillets. Okay, I'm going to make up some pork schnitzels for dinner tonight. Now this is your pork, this is our pork schnitzels. Chicken, chicken, chicken. So chicken, so this is what it's going to be like beforehand, and this is how it comes out afterwards. As you can see by here, look, look at this. So it goes through, and this is your tenderizer. Look at that. So it goes from this, from this piece here to this. So I'll show you how it works. I'll get my lovely assistant to hold the camera. Okay, so here's your schnitzel. Okay, all you have to do is put it in. Now this is great when you're doing burgers as well, guys. See how, how it does this? Look, look at that. So I put it through a couple of times. So what this is, this is your tenderizer. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous, darling. Now, this is the full breast uncured, of course. Voila. And have a look at that. That's how it comes out, guys, just like that. So this now just be crumbed, a crumb mix. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to crumb these now, then I'm going to leave them in the refrigerator until later on tonight when we're going to cook. Then I'm going to cook them in um, a nice butter oil solution, lots of butter. The best one, of course, is I can't believe it's not butter, but we don't have that here. So that is the best one for cooking all your schnitzels. So the chicken schnitzel, what's going to happen with this one is we're going to crumb this one. We're going to cook it up like a normal schnitzel you do, but then we're going to add some avocado. Or what they call it in other parts of the world, guacamole. So what, <laughs> so what we're going to do is crumb our schnitzel, we're going to cook the schnitzel on both sides so it's nice and crispy, then we're going to put sliced avocado on the top, down here darling. So once this is a schnitzel, we're going to put avocado on the top, then we're going to cover it with mozzarella cheese, and we're going to stick it then underneath the grill so that's all melted down through it. it tastes absolutely gorgeous. So that's what you have here. I'll put a link down below in the description. So I said, this is your pork tenderizer. Now all these are your little tenderloin, your pork loins, the little ears, things that's on the side of your, these just go through like this, look. Now they come, and have a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's no, the thing is, you're not bruising your meat. You're not bruising your meat, boys. So you're not bashing the hell out of it. Normally, you put a piece of plastic down, put your pork or beef or chicken down, another piece of plastic on the top, then you bash the shit out of it with a hammer. This way, you don't have to. All it is is just hold it up, Drop it in the sheen, turn the handle. That's how easy it is, guys. And have a look at that. Look at that. Lovely. All right, be back later on when we do the cooking. Right, guys, so got your chicken, crumb the chicken. I use half of a big thing of butter, which is one knob, is what they used to call it, with uh, olive oil, very low heat, turn it on to the low setting, and cook the chicken. So the chicken. Cooked, now, avocado on top. Followed by that, what we do is we hit it with the mozzarella. So just give it a nice sprinkle of mozzarella on top, just like so. I'll be back at you guys, because I need two hands. Oh, mummy used to say that all the time. Right, so there we go. Covered it all with mozzarella cheese, given a bit of seasoning, pepper and salt. Stick a little bit of herbs on if you like, but it doesn't really need it. And now underneath the griller, and let it sink that cheese down nice and gently. And there you have it, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Off the grill, done. So this is what it looks like. So crumb chicken breast, put through the tenderizer machine, crumbed, cooked in a um, stick of butter and olive oil, low heat, nice and low, and avocado, mozzarella cheese, underneath the grill, and it's a melt. Have a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I like to have that with um, mashed potato myself. Reason being is, it's either mashed potato or chips. 
The chips are already cooked in oil, so it doesn't really work too good. But if you do that with um, rice or with mashed potato, it goes very good. It's a very good combination. So there you go, guys. That's William's chicken breast with avocado and mozzarella cheese melts. Hope you enjoyed. Bon appetit.